All right, here we are. We play games. This is Walker. This is uh, this is a YouTube Academy thing about about playing Pokemon, about playing uh, Vicky three, Vicky three. Just just rehearse it. You can rehearse the intro. You can. I won't, but you could. You could, fellow fellow people on YouTube. You could rehearse the intro. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. So as I as I said in the last it episode, like a lot of where this budget is coming from is from like just brutalizing our our uh, rich people with with taxes, but it's very good to do so because it just takes away their power. It makes them really angry, but that's okay. That like that's a short term problem. Um, getting getting your getting your rich people riled up while you take their power away is sort of like it comes with the territory. That's why I would encourage people to like generally do things that that might. Um, that might make some people happier so that like if we if we are able to pass national guard we're not gonna keep rolling on it right if we end up getting the technology for national militia and then i can just switch into it then i'll just switch into it i'm not i'm not too upset if we have to abandon this but if we get to pass it i'd be i'd be thrilled to spend our bureaucracy on that because it'll be really helpful when we're in the conflict with the jet with uh, the shogun because the thing that you got to keep in mind of course, is that like y y y when you're when you're doing this when you're doing this conflict with the shogunate, they can align with the samurai, but they don't always. Um, and the most natural counterweight to the shogun is this dude, and so like you just you just get to like combine some things in ways that make sense. And I do I do think that if you watch this video all the way through, and you watch everything all the way through, you'll understand that really all you need, all you really need, all you need is love. Uh, but. I'm, I don't, that one I know I can't sing because Paul, Paul, Paul will sue me into space. Um, but yeah, like, look, the Shogun, the Shogun, if he starts with Jinguist or, or, or a pacifist, you're fine. I think that's all you need. I think, I think generally speaking, I feel better giving up on these. And then if it looks like no one's, no one cares about it. Like if no one's colonized it by like 1842 or whatever, then I'll take colonization. But like, I, I, I've had way too many runs where I've taken colonization and then just not gotten anything out of it and that costs a lot of bureaucracy and it costs time and it costs everything and it's just bad and I, and it's then and, and again to reiterate if they come up with a, a solution to prevent russia from from causing issues over there then then we can do that that's okay we can do that but i just i don't know i don't know i don't know hmm all right uh where are we we are building things we're building things we're building things we're building things walker and we're building things with the road maintenance on. If you're not if you're not building with road maintenance on, I would recommend it. It's pretty good. It speeds up the construction of things. Also constructing stuff locally. So again, we did a uh, five, five, four, four, and then we went over here and did ten. And then after all of that stuff, we're gonna come down um, probably back to here, and we're gonna add a level two tooling workshop. And then we'll come back over here and we'll add uh, probably three or four more construction sectors. Let's do four. Four more construction sectors, some iron mines, and then probably some logging camps. And then we'll see where that gets us. And you're like, how can you plan that much in advance? It's absolutely unnecessary. It, it You'd think, but like you do get through it pretty quickly. Once you get a bunch of construction sectors online, you you can build pretty fast, and then and then like queuing up thousands of pages of stuff is not really as stupid as it looks, because if if you if you just turn through it, you turn through it, and that's what we're doing. We're bringing money in. So the reason that I that we had so much debt in the other video is that I forgot to build this um, in the the run that I recorded. That was the one where we ended up with like this much debt. That's I want to make sure that people understand that ending up with that much debt is not necessarily a bad thing because it does mean that you're giving money directly to the pops that own the, the buildings that have the debt that you're against. And if you need to do um, bankruptcy building, you can do that too. Bankruptcy building is is I, I typically recommend against it unless that unless you're like at a point where you have just an outrageous amount of, of debt holding you down and if you just didn't have it then you could construct a lot faster. If that's the case, then bankruptcy building can be can be absolutely worth it. That's just where you just like build until you have to you have to declare bankruptcy, and that the biggest problem here, of course, is that it comes with the state construction efficiency penalty. The rest of those things, that's a 10, 10 year thing. That's not the end of the world. But ten years, fifty percent state construction efficiency. I I would encourage people, unless you are a pro, don't don't bankruptcy build. It is gonna be 
really devastating to your ability to to keep to be productive i think i think bankruptcy is not the way out of debt i think building is the way out of debt i think i think spending is the way out of debt <laughs> like, uh okay <laughs> that's all right that's something that is something all right we can increase it to speed four i don't want to go too super fast so i didn't really explain why i hired a bunch of generals but the generals are all associated with like different factions and so what that means is if I start promoting the ones that are associated with the, the factions, the IGs in here that I like, that'll start giving them some political power. There are a lot of tools that you have at your disposal to reduce the power of the Shogunate beyond just like pure RNG. RNG can definitely help you. Don't do, don't, don't, don't kid yourself. Like RNG can absolutely help you, but it is not the only thing that you have on your side. Your taxes are incredibly powerful. That's a great way to do it. Your once you have uh, universities up and going, then government wages are also a really great way to do it. Because if you have high taxes and high wages, then that's just saying you're taking all the money out of the country and then you're giving it back to the people who support you. Which I, you know, if that doesn't sound exactly like the behavior of an autocrat, I don't know what to tell you. Like that's 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 human history right there. We are gonna remain in wooden construction for a little while, but we're look at that Buddhist punks, powerful. What did I tell you, chat? What did I tell you? Devout, devout. Kome is the way. Give me a Kome is the way in the chat. No one's gonna watch this, Walker. No one's gonna watch this, Walker. All right. Uh, oh, we could do that. Sure. All right. So let's actually pause and discuss a, the the different outcomes here. This one's pointless. I love prestige, but it should come from doing things, not from just flat bonuses. Don't take flat bonuses to prestige unless you need to. Um, samurai interest group pop attraction, if if they didn't support serfdom, I would say yes, but they do and I don't want that. So we're gonna do this one instead. So now we're up to a 16% chance and it's still ticking down April, 1837, right? And this thing in here, the thing that we really want um, which is to have mandatory service so that way you can switch into national militia. That's that's still like 3,000 text points away. Like we're gonna get three roles probably on national guard and then we get to go into national militia and then we get to go into to revoke serfdom. I think this is gonna be a very powerful line for the for them to take. We are gonna have some issues with money. Um, I guess we could we could reduce our taxation level. Um, but I don't want to. I want to just. I just want to take all their money away. I want to take all their money away. Har 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 har. That's a really bad. Um, that's a really bad crabs, Mr. Crabs. If you haven't seen, uh, what you call it. If you haven't seen what you call it, then you should absolutely check it out. I I think what you call it is a great show. I think it's wonderful, and I'm really happy to link to it. No, you idiot. Um, they are, uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of things to spend money on. That's why I'm kind of like freaking out here is that the, the path where you build a bunch of logging camps actually is, yeah, we'll do this. We have, we have so much money that we're starting to run out of ways to current, to like profit. Oh, you idiot. Oh, Walker, you idiot. <laughs> Just buddy, 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 buddy. You could have you could have weaved these better. You could have weaved these better. I could have. I did not. You could have. I did not. I. This is what I mean. Like every single time I play this game, it's it's revealed that he's just like he's got a lot of thoughts going on, but he's terrible at playing. He's awful at this. <laughs> which is which is why I make these videos so that somebody can play better. Because I I'm sure somebody can. Uh, it's not gonna be me ever, but it might be you. It might be you, chat. All right. So over here we have the opium war going on. That's really good. That's very important. What's going on in the open war is going to be pretty important for you. Um, you your best case scenario, as is with for most countries, is that um, Chang loses. Because if they don't, then they're just like another extra threat. You want as few extra threats as possible. And if they lose, then they're in a lot of trouble. If they win, if they win, if they win, then, uh, then we got something else going on. And then we got something else going on. I'm just going to drop down to, to high taxes. You might be able to just run high taxes instead of very high. That might be, that might be worth doing. Just because, like, we just, we, we are going to build all the way up to the, our gold reserve cap so fast that the taxes aren't going to have anywhere to go. And it's, I don't care about having the money on hand. I just, I just don't want them to have it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the core here. Like, the, they're, the thing that I want to tell you 
is that in Victoria 3, the more that you understand that, th that there are not like a lot of independent things, but rather there are just an infinite number of interdependent things, the more that, that everything in game will make sense to you, I think. Because they just really are. There are an outrageous number of interconnected things. And so thinking about them in terms of their networking is a lot more useful than thinking about them in terms of the thing that they, that they do on their face. Um, and so, yeah, like wood, because wood is so unbelievably overproduced right now, which was intentional. Um, that means that our construction goods are not going to be as expensive because we just we don't have to pay as much for um, for wood because there's just an infinite amount of it. And what that means is we can construct with just way, way more points than we would be able to normally. Um, all right. I, this one, unfortunately, you do probably want to be a jerk about because the, the, the pops are just Japan starts essentially as a monoculture. Like, look at this. Look at this. 31 million versus 60,000. You essentially start as a monoculture. So unfortunately, if you, I mean, if you're, oh, I love this song. If you're playing and you want to have fun, you can do whatever you want to. But the, the, the Academy videos, largely, I want to be aimed at people who want to learn the mechanics of the game. And then, and then like, just play the game and have fun. Like, don't, you don't have to ever... Just every time that I tell people that you're not allowed to have fun, just unsubscribe. Like, do not do not reward that kind of behavior. Don't do it. Just don't, don't do it. Just unsubscribe anytime I chide you for trying to have fun. Because that's... <laughs> like, I, I have fun playing this game. Why on earth would I, would I encourage other people not to? I don't, I don't know. It's... I think, I think I just get myself worked up. That's... I think that's all... That's all it boils down to. Um... Yeah, so here we are. We're just we're just rolling along. We are just rolling along, and we're not even at max taxes now. Like we just we're just building, just building gold rush. Okay, sure. So I I'm gonna say this in every video. Gold is like fine, I guess. The it'll be helpful that gold rush has occurred because it'll give us a little extra money. But I'm really just not that worried about money. What's going to end up happening is the gold fields are eventually going to deplete, and then we have to build gold mines. Gold fields. I find are often not that useful. They, they get you money, but they also get you pops that get mad whenever, like, the gold goes away. Um, and that's that's kind of their fault. They did not have to move here, but they chose to. They chose to seeking their own fame and fortune, and that's fine, but, like, don't complain to me about it. Don't make the government tell you, hey, see, look, I didn't even put Fast and Act on. Sometimes that happens. It does sometimes happen. And if you don't believe me, then play. Like, that's how percentages work. Especially if you have something where you like National Guard, where you can roll it with an incredibly high legitimacy, because we had Shogunate and Samurai as, an, as a government. You can do that. You absolutely can do that. And in fact, we did it so fast. We did it five months before mandatory service. Holy cannoli. Like, what are we supposed to do? I could change to professional army, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm just going to hold on. I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to wait for five months with nothing going on in terms of law bill writing. Like, I, I really hate not working on a on a bill, but but sometimes you just get lucky. I think I think if you were at, at, at like, 26 or, or, or above percent, it might be worth waiting because National, National Guard's good. National Guard is good. It, it is uh, it is good. It gets you extra troops, um, which because you have such a giant population, that's really helpful. But the political movement radicalism is also really, really helpful. Same with the revolution and succession spread. Like, ev everything here is very powerful. And that's why I just, I, I think delaying going into national militia doesn't cost you as much as you think. You don't have to get crazy lucky to get, um, to get that passed. You just have to be reasonably lucky to get that passed. And then we can go in here and go to national militia, and then no one's going to have any power, and we've already created some ways to suppress them. And then we can go in there and we can go to serfdom abolished. And then they'll start complaining, and then we'll ignore them. And that'll be the game. And and you'll be like, all right, well, how did he use debug to cheat this time? And I'm, I'll, I'll tell you, I didn't. I, I'm not doing that. I promise I'm not doing that. That's not my goal. My goal is not to, is not to mislead people. My goal is to have fun doing galaxy brain stuff and then do really stupid stuff in the other thing. And that's that. That is my goal. That is my goal. Um, it's just I just I just come off as being a, a, a lunatic, and that's that's okay. I don't think that's an I don't think that's an, an inaccurate take. I don't think that's an inaccurate take. Did I ah damn it, Walker? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You already ah every time every time chat. Every, and this is where like if I was doing it live, then maybe chat would have told me. But I think it's funnier if you all just like 
start screaming at me in the comment thread about missing road maintenance. I think that's pretty funny when people do that. It's like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, people, people don't pay attention when they do things, Walker. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's all right. I got it after I got it. I got it in the middle of one of them. But why road maintenance is such a big deal? Uh, again, it's that it get, comes with the state construction efficiency, and so that just makes us it's it's easier to get those things online. You build faster. You get all the things doing rolling along, um, and then once this part is done, once we've built the logging camps, we're gonna hop back over here, power out the tooling workshop, hop over here, power out some more construction sectors and some iron. And then we'll probably hop over here and power out some coal because um, I like coal. And, and the reason that I like coal, everybody, is that coal allows you to um, run, to get more, more services. And you're going to have a lot of services that you just have running around. Generally speaking, you want to take money away from the, the pops opposed to you. I'm going to repeat a lot of things, but I'm going to repeat the things that are important because I know that apparently most people really only watch like five minutes except that's like a complicated thing because of because the way averages work it's complicated it it doesn't matter i'm not going to bore you with the details i i think it's i think that there's a lot of really interesting data when it comes to to this sort of stuff i think we should do academia next again i don't i don't actually value doing colonization not right now if they come up with a way to to to, to um make it so that russia doesn't want to rush there like, maybe we would have been able to do it when you get here, but, like, it's only 1837, and we really would not have had it done by now. And so I just, I don't feel comfortable recommending it. I don't, I don't think it's good. I think it requires a lot of RNG to get value out of colonialism, and I want to make a guide that everybody can use more reliably. And, and so, so again, to, to reiterate, you're just going to national militia. You're not switching into professional army. The reason you're not switching into professional army is that professional army is going to be um, empowering the samurai, and the samurai, of course, are going to be supporting serfdom. So you just don't want to you don't want to give them power. Plus, national militia in combination with national guard in the event that you manage to get a national guard, because you can roll on it. You can roll this like three times while you research the tech for um, for national militia. It just lets you draft like a, a ridiculously huge army, and so you can more or less fire your entire professional army. You kind of don't need them. They're mostly just ceremonial. So you could keep some in, in your capitals, like you could keep 10 and 10 if you really wanted to, um, just so that way there's always some uh, political support for the samurai around. But like while you're fighting over serfdom, at least, I don't think that that really helps you that much. I think you're much better off not doing that. Wow, we just have so much. We just have so much money. All right. Well, we'll we'll build a little bit more. Then we'll build some building because we just are. We're really we're we're chasing our the the capacity here. We just need to we just need to build faster. We just need to build faster. We're only at twenty seven. That's eighteen thirty seven. Walker, like you need to build faster. And so, of course, by passing national militia, we're gonna make the shogunate happier. All right, so there it is. That's what you're looking for. So if you see that, you do need to reload. Um, this this is the the only RNG aspect of this is that you do require the Buddhist monk leader live an, as long as possible. Um, I might need to reload a little earlier. I don't remember how they how they establish that. If if they do see Russia's colonizing Sakhalin, like that's just the way this stuff works. I think he died in uh, December 17th. And if so, then we will reload to November. And I'll probably pause the episode there. No? All right. Well, it's it. there it is. It's Russia is colonizing Sakhalin. All right. I'm going to pause the episode there, and then we'll go on to the next one.